Drug researchers worldwide are fast at work to stop COVID-19 virus from replicating. The, that work requires a massive amount of computing power. Uh, it, whether it's simulating the drug molecule of 20 atoms, visualizing the, the molecules themselves, or trying to learn how the electrons behave uh, with quantum mechanics. Joining me today is Mark Ross, the founder and CEO of Grid Markets, a high performance rendering platform that's helping drug researchers run simulation and render complex molecules in less than a day. Welcome, Mark. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Also joining us is Andrew Jennings, a computational chemist who spent decades helping top pharmaceutical companies do this kind of modeling. He's an end user of the Grid Markets platform and he's working to discover a treatment for COVID-19. What are some of the challenges, Andy, that, that you face to find a, a, a cure? The ma major challenge is the disruption in our work lives and the ability to access cloud resources. The Grid Markets platform built on the, the Oracle HPC platform, that is a, a really a unique resource for people like myself to tap into so that we can continue to work hard to fight this and many other diseases. Simulating a, a molecule the size of a drug alone at the highest level of theory that we can really approach today, which is the quantum mechanics level. Even on large resources, we're talking about many, many cores or a number of GPUs, we have a much better opportunity, chance of finding that next drug that's going to help that particular disease sector. How has performance affected your platform? Sometimes we're spinning up 200, 300 machines, and sometimes those machines have, you know, 96 threads. They're, so they're large machines with large memory footprints, um, and we need to acquire them, uh, activate them, install the right software on them, put them all to use on on a parcel of this submission. Performance two different aspects. There's the sheer speed of the simulation and there's the ability to run many jobs in parallel. So I can have multiple different targets, multiple different classes of molecules, all being simulated in parallel. Mark has given you a way uh, to bypass the queue for your HPC cluster. How'd you, how'd you make that happen, Mark? Thanks to Oracle, we made it happen. <laughs> um, Excellent. Being able to respond immediately was one of our design criteria. So the only way to really do that was, frankly, to not own our own machines, not have our own infrastructure. And so that set us on a path to looking for a reliable partner who could, at the uh, instantaneous API call, be able to respond and be able to respond with however many machines we ask for and in whatever configuration we ask for them to be and ultimately are very happy with using Oracle because we need a partner that is, as I said, super responsive, able to deliver the numbers of machines and also able to deliver the, the machine configurations that we need. How much time do you think the grid markets saves you on, on a typical simulation? A hundredfold, uh, a thousandfold. That really is a game changer for the number of things we can evaluate and the rigor to which we can evaluate them. You're able to get a much more refined model, uh, simulate millions uh, of, of atoms and millions of molecules and get that back in a, in a fraction of the time of, of what you would have had before. That, that's correct, without compromising. But this is a, 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 a both an evolution and a revolution in terms of the speed of the simulations we can undertake and the rigor to which we can do. Oracle is able to provide to grid markets the array of different configurations and machine types that we can then make available to our customers. How does that journey from CPUs to GPU has improved your outcomes in terms of accelerating what you used to do? And what is your preference when it comes to one versus the other? GPUs have been a game changer some software, particularly molecular dynamics and some quantum mechanics has moved heavily towards GPU and that's now the standard platform. So that's been the same level of game changer on the dynamics side as now the availability of these vast cloud resources that we can now chain together CPUs. 
the software is pre-installed, it's configured, it's it's ready to go out of the box in the grid markets platform. That itself makes the system available to a far wider community than would otherwise be able to achieve this. So having the support of the cloud provider to um, run, shake down any bugs, to get the maximum performance out of the machines, that's a huge component.